The president states that this has become a continuous fight for Namibia and other African countries to secure seats in the UN Security Council. Although there appears to be progress as some countries have been allowed to have a seat in the council, the head of state expressed doubt, saying the undemocratic veto power is a way of controlling the world. Dr. Gengop has since his tenure been vocal about the issue and has reiterated the call for a reform of the United Nations Security Council to include African countries. We've been fighting to allow us to have a seat at this. Not us, a small country maybe, but we are asking maybe for Nigeria and South Africa or any other country. Veto power, even if you agreed, 11 of you or 10 of you, and there's one veto can kill the decision. Undemocratic. The head of state further highlighted the importance of strong bilateral and multilateral relations that would forge peaceful engagements and outcomes. Dr. Gingo specifically pointed out the political unrest and security situation in the DRC, as the peace and security cooperation framework is still outstanding. DRC is changing from having this partner. East Africa has now been asked to leave. SATEC is supposed to come in. I said we're not going to send our troops. We don't have means for that. But South Africa and them have agreed to send the troops. So it's a question of changing from East Africa. Now they'll kick out. We're going to get certain SATEC. I hope we're not going to be kicked out. So those who are going to provide troops are ready to do that, maybe. But we pledge to support financially where we can. Furthermore, as a member of the African Union Peace and Security Council, and as a chairperson of SADC organ Troika, I participated in Peace and Security Council meeting in order to bring and end the conflict in the RC. Dr. Gingop made the remarks at a press briefing today to update the nation on progress made in the year of revival. Siamantikwa, NBC News.